Today's I can statement is I can improve my level of fitness and agility. Hi friends, welcome back. Um, and this week uh, for PE, we are going to be continuing to work on speed, um, our fitness, um, agility, um, just overall moving our bodies, uh, working on our coordination, getting our heart rates up, being purposeful with our movements um, and under control. Um, so today we're gonna do a few different um, agility trainings, which will um, improve our fitness as well. Um, going back to last week, we talked about what agility is. So I want you to think back, what did it mean um, when we were working on our agility? I'm thinking, I remember that we talked about the fact that we can change directions quickly our body is under control, um, that we are able to kind of be coordinated and smooth, not falling down. Um, so when you're moving today, I want you to be thinking about keeping your body under control, really thoughtful about how you're moving, moving hard, um, quick. So we're going to do a few different um, exercise or activities to um, work on our fitness level and our agility. Um, you'll just need a few things for to put on the ground to mark some spots, paper plates, rolled up socks, stuffed animals, just something to mark a spot on the ground and a timer. If you can somehow, you know, use a phone as a timer or have a family member nearby with a timer um, or somehow get a clock nearby so that you can watch or if you don't have a timer, then you just do the best you can and work for what you think is the amount of time. But that's what you need for today's work. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, in our first um, agility and fitness practice, we're gonna um, do 20 seconds of work and then 20 seconds of rest with these four exercises, which I will show you in just a minute, going side to side, front to back, in an X shape and like a skier. So once again, we'll do it for 20 seconds, then we'll rest for 20, and then we'll move on to the next. All right, friends. So for this activity, you need four objects. Um, something you can put on the ground, um, doesn't need to be anything tall. It can be a paper plate, um, it can be socks, it can be a stuffed animal. Um, just something to mark your spot on the ground. Um, you need four of them. We're gonna make like the shape of a square. So I need to find my work area and then just go like forward a step and put one of those markers down. I'm going kind of diagonal because I'm making the corners of my square. Here's my next one. And then behind me, kind of back. And then back to center. And then here. That helps me to know that I've got a square kind of going in every direction. As I mentioned, you're going to do these activities for 20 seconds and then you're gonna take a 20 second rest. That's why you need a timer. Um, or you can just count in your head um, 20 seconds. But we're doing 20 seconds of work and then 20 seconds of rest for each of the four activities. So I'm going to show you those four. The first one is side to side. So you start in the center. Your feet are gonna to move together. You're gonna to move on the balls of your feet and you're gonna bounce side to side. In um, like the lines of your square. So you don't want to be um, way outside of it or way inside, feet together. And you will do that for 20 seconds and then you'll rest. So that's the first one, side to side. The second one you're gonna do is front to back. So the front of my square to the back of my square. Once again, feet together, jumping forward, jumping back, landing on the balls of my feet, that's kind of here where my toes connect to my foot, not on my heels, I shouldn't be smacking down. So I start in the center, start my timer for 20 seconds, front, back, front, back. A backward jump is a little more difficult, but just try to get as far back in your square as you can. Use your arms for momentum. Landing, if you're working on your agility, you're working on like landing under control. So 20 seconds of front and back, and then rest. Um, the third one is X. So you'll start in the middle, and your legs will go out to the front of your square, 
and then back to the middle, and then out to the back of your square. Like you're making an X, and then back together, and then an X, and then back together. X, 20 seconds of X, then rest. And the last one is skier. You imagine if you've seen anyone on TV, downhill skiing, um, and they kind of go like side to side. So we're gonna start on one side of our square. We're gonna kind of leap to the other. I say leap because it's a one foot jump. And I'm gonna land on my opposite foot. So it's like that. And I balance. Also working on my agility with that. If you need to rest that back foot, that's okay. But you're working on 20 seconds of skier jumps. So we've got side to side, feet together, front to back, X, and then skier, which is leaping side to side. I would like you to do three rounds. So you're doing all four exercises with the 20 seconds of breaks, three rounds. You can break that up, meaning you can do a round, take like a five minute break, get your water, catch your breath. But I want you in today's lesson to complete those four exercises, three rounds of it. All right, the second way we are going to work on our fitness and agility today is just a shuffling formation. So this is definitely something we are familiar with. Um, when we work on our shuffling, we're going to be changing direction, so we've um, worked on that as well. And we're just trying to increase our speed, therefore increase our like fitness workout. So you need three objects to mark the ground with, whatever they might be. Um, I want you to think of like a letter V. So I'm going to put one down out here. I'm going to put the other part of my V. I want to keep it in my screen for you guys. So there and then another one way back. So I've got like a letter V with my objects. I'm gonna shuffle. That means moving sideways, hands out. My hips gonna lead the way. I'm gonna go to the V and back. I'm gonna do this same as um, the other exercise. 20 seconds on, 20 second rest. So ready and then I begin, shuffle. When I get there, I change directions. When I get to the V, I change directions. Moving light on my toes, quick, low, work as hard as you can. If you just go like this, you're really not improving your fitness. You want to be moving quick. Do not cross your feet. So 20 seconds of doing a V shuffle, 20 second rest, four rounds of work. Go ahead and try that. Okay, in this last um, station, we are going to do some high knees. So in other words, um, we're getting our knees up high towards our chest, our back stays straight, we don't bend over. We stay up high and we bring our knees up to our chest. Um, and it's kind of like a super fast march or a super fast run in place. And we're also gonna be doing it in a lateral um, direction, meaning side to side. So I grabbed a broom, if you can see that, just something at home that's long and skinny to help you see a line. Maybe you put out a pair of sweatpants to make um, a long line. If, once again, if you have tape um, or something you can use at home to make a long line. Um, and then you just need one other marker way in front of your line. I had to cram it together to keep it all in the camera shot, but um, I want you to give yourself as much space as you can between your long line, where you're gonna do your lateral high knees, and your other one, which is where you will run to. Um, so I'm gonna start back here with my lateral high knees, meaning I'm moving this direction, knees up. Once I go through this, I'm gonna sprint to my first, like my marker that's in front, and then I'm gonna jog backward here and begin again, 20 seconds of this. So I go like this, high knees, little steps, high knees, when I get to the end, I can sprint forward, jog backward, quick feet, high knees, sprint forward, jog backward, thinking about fast footwork, smooth, in under control, 20 seconds of work, okay? 20 seconds of rest, four sets. Um, 
Keep in mind with your high knees, you're light on your feet. You're not stomping down. All right, stop when you need to, drink your water, space out your four sets as much as you have to.